Hi beautifuls, welcome back to Yildiz Readings 5D. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium, twin flame coach. I cover astrology, moon energy, and personal development. If you do want to come join us in the members hub, we have private twin flame questions in there. No super chat required. And yes, monthly I come to you live. And during those sessions, you're able to ask quick super chat questions. Now for this video, we're going to tune into your psychic energy, connecting into your love interest any blockages or the unexpected that can come up so please stay tuned because this two weeks is set to be very very interesting and pivotal love and light guys let's get into the energy Aries welcome back we are here to do your energy check-in for mid month to see what's coming up for you individually now it has been a pretty hectic time we did have mercury retrograde and you know even looking at your cards it does look um pretty in depth now we're going to get into it the way it's coming through is that you you're looking at the whole foundation and your passion and your life okay you've got base chakra in reverse and and there's something really that you've been working on that you felt maybe was a very stable situation but you're really seeing the writing on the wall you don't quite know how you've got there you're like how the heck did i get here um especially pertaining to love you know it can be you know a hard truth that you're needing to address it. and i feel there's been a lot of shadow work now we are having a full moon in libra and i do feel this is connecting in because it is connected to your romance house and it can be quite purgatory and i feel two energies here um and for those of you that don't know i'm a psychic medium so it seems that you're reflecting upon love of the past and your passion and your work and all the things physical to you that creates a foundation what you based your life on and it does what i'm seeing like a jar in it something's being shaken up it's like you're looking at it and you're going you know what it was versus where it is now um you, you're kind of getting to a point that you're holding back there's this hold back dynamic going on and the two energies that's coming through is maybe um something you had invested in something of what you directly really um connected in with but now seeing that and there could be some juggling going on here this can be again between work between love what do i do do i go left or right uh you're not quite sure what direction to go right now but leading up to that full moon in libra i feel you guys are making a very firm decision these emotions i do feel some of you are going to hear from a person from the past and it can be um this can be contractual or can be love i mean you know the energy is fluid as to how it can come through and it can, for some of you it's both but there seems to be i see you guys pausing and very reflective and i can i can feel this energy where um it's almost like you you don't feel you resonate with what's going on right now and something needs to be moved about and i really do find that psychically with the channelings that's been coming through it's like grabbing pieces of a puzzle and putting it in the correct locations you know compartmentalizing but but psychologically at the moment this has been quite testing for you something that you thought was a dream it's really not a dream and it, it might have been really affecting your health and you're trying to muster up the courage to deal with this in a 3d level I do feel you're kind of holding back though there's this hold back dynamic at the moment when it does come to with what you want to do and whom you want to be with but whatever this shift is going to be I, I feel I feel it's energy I feel something's going to shift about it's almost an epiphany some of you there can be fights and conflict um and it, whatever this is whatever there you go fights and conflict um a lot of you know you know who you want to be with but there's a bit of passion here um and i feel whatever these circumstances are they're trying to keep you stuck in the way that you are it could be circumstantial surrounding you um this could be for some of you if you're in a connection and you're really not happy it doesn't resonate with you at the moment it can be psychologically feeling stuck but it's it's moved into the past position so whatever that was i feel if you had been fighting it or somebody had been fighting you and trying to push you into the cinderella effect and i always say it's a bit like you know you're cinderella but you're putting your foot into drusilla's kind of shoe it doesn't feel it fits and with soul walk-ins we can sort of feel that way whatever this is playing out for you i feel a circumstance coming to a head where it feels quite nasty um this can be nasty in a sense of words harsh words um the bitter truth facing you know facing the reality of what we've based our foundation on 
But the, the passion is not there for um, a circumstance. And you, you're trying to get that love and passion back in your life. And you you don't know quite. It's a bit like the fall on the tray. That's what I'm feeling. Something has gone down to make this happen. And this is where you, your hopes are coming back. Because I feel you're physically looking at something for what it really is. Um, and it can feel a little bit like a Venus retrograde for you um, in the next two weeks, you know, moving either side. But I feel this happening very quick. It's almost like something said, something's done, something occurs, and it's like very, it's volatile. It feels anger. Um, but it's almost like you're taking the bull by the horns and you're like, right, I need to address these dynamics. This is not working for me, be it it's work or love. But um, for those of you who it resonates, uh, there's jealousy and it's almost like they're trying to keep you where you stand. There might have been a bit of juggling, but again, the juggling can be psychological because you did have Pisces in the 12th house. For some of you, there's been a person who's really mucked with you psychologically. Uh, the circumstance even from psychic attacks and things to that degree, it should ease up. But I feel how this has played out, it's enabling you to make a choice and to take a leap of faith forward. Because, you know, even your outcome card, it's you just had enough. You've really had enough of being stuck. And you kind of knew this was going to come to a head where something had to shift about and be addressed. Uh, and so you're having a change of plans. You're sort of like, right, okay. And I don't feel it's back to the drawing board. I feel whatever those plans are, whatever you're moving towards, you know directly what it is. But it's more you knew you were going to have to address the elephant on their own. Yeah, you don't want to be your own worst enemy. You're almost like looking at it going, look, you know, um, the, the, this energy that you, um, some of you, this is a soulmate twin flame energy. Uh, you're taking your power back and you're looking at it and some of you are really worried. It's like, you know, why, why am I thinking about this person? Why is this person keep coming up in my auric field? It's a very, very, um, it's a very good friendship. And that's not to say that there hasn't been hard things that have happened, but it's, there's a draw between the both of you, but there's somebody here. And I do feel, to, I feel three energies overall. You, the love interest, you, the contract and another energy. Whatever this old energy is, it's like you're trying to get the shackles off and you're trying to move away. You're trying to do it as nice as possible with this person, there's one person in this mix that seems very um, <clears throat> psychologically unstable. Uh, yeah, not, not so good. <sighs> you don't know how to address this. You don't want to be the bad guy. But I feel it's more than that. I feel there is a, a side of um, these energies that it's very tactical. You've got to be very careful how you address them. And I feel due to that, you're seeing the light of this other circumstance and the blessing in it. Now, this can be a career prospect or it could be a love interest. For some of you, it's a love interest. It's not making you happy that you have to address this, but I feel... It's because you've lost hope in an old situation and you're moving. And, you know, it, something has shifted. Something is feeling it has to go. It doesn't resonate with you. And the other energy is you're physically having to connect with it and own your power. And again, I'm seeing two. I'm seeing work and I'm seeing career. Shifting life about into order. This can mean movement. But it's where you feel you belong. You're going to have the complete clarity um, through the next two weeks. So it's almost like whatever's occurring near that full moon in Libra, it can be quite agitational. And your shadow sign is Libra. So, you know, both you and where you stand, you're having to, you know, look at it with a critical eye. And you're having to maybe trust the process with all that Pisces energy. It's like, okay, out with the old and with the new. If this is affecting your psychology... And it's not the foundation of where you're needing to be. What do you need to move now? And what do you need to do? And I feel you're just dropping it. Now, we are going to go into your extension rate after this. And I will check into how the other parties are looking at this circumstance. Because I can see there is one toxic energy here. And I do feel they can be quite volatile. The other one I don't feel is none the wiser. Um, <clears throat> none the wiser of what's going on. Uh, this can be an old energy. It could be a soulmate twin flame. Um, and separately, 
even if this is a work dynamic as well and I feel there's several areas in your life and it's just going higgledy pickledy and it's sort of like right okay we need to address the devil in the detail here and we've got to be a critical thinker when it does come to finding creative solutions but I feel you have to take a direct tactical approach and this can be your love interest because the energy can swap um, that there is a person in this mix that has to be very very careful because they could potentially be an aggressive um, person around them and so they're wanting to be able to leave um, unscarred unscathed and it's not that they're moving away from it unscarred unscathed it's in the cleanest fashion possible unharmed intact so now what you may not be seeing is this balance is coming after the full moon in Libra and I feel even if the communication is a bit choppy and you're keeping quiet it will be due to the fact that you're sensing it's the right thing to do needing to get grounded after the full moon in Libra and as you move forward I feel you have a massive plan but it does entail you know where you're going to be with whom it could be a person moving out a person leaving a job it seems like pieces of the puzzle are getting moved about now I will join you in the member zone for the extension read should you wish to um, join me otherwise I will see you next week for your next energy update for your zodiac love and light guys bye Thanks for joining us. If you do want the extension read, it is in the link directly below in the box. Also, all the booking information is there. Please subscribe if you do want to have current updates relating to astrology, moon energy, twin flame path. I do have super chats, so if you do feel you can't afford a reading, you can jump through and have a question during the sessions as well as if you haven't joined my uh, website, please do because I do put up notifications relating to when I'm coming live, any events coming up and specials. Take care. I will see you later. Have a great week.